Yeah, what's up everybody on YouTube, man? Welcome back again to Nate Dubai channel, man. Today, today, man, I'm gonna be serious, man. Let me take off my hoodie, man. Today, I'm gonna be serious. I'm gonna be very, very serious today, man. You know, first of all, man, praise be to God. Praise be to Allah. You know, this video, I'm making this video. I'm not, make, I'm not judging anybody, man. I am not judging anybody. But I have to get this off my chest because it bothers me. You know, there was something that happened to me a couple days ago. And it's, it bothers me because it's fucked up. It's, it's some fucked up shit. You know, it is some fucked up shit. And the whole thing that happened is just, I, I think about it every day. I have to get it out of my chest because I know it's going to be a lot of young people out there. I know it's going to be a lot of people out there that don't get it. You know, the other day, I was out there and man, I was on a dating app called POF. You know, I was on a dating app messaging somebody. I messaged the female. You have to understand, I'm, I'm, I, I, I talk to people. I try to engage myself with people. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't like to be alone a lot of times. I like to go out. I like to do things. Sometimes I don't hang out. I do things because people are evil. People are so evil, it, it kills me. So it makes me don't want to do things a lot. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video, I'm going to tell you guys my story. Because it's going to help a lot of you guys out there. It's going to help a lot of people out there because this is some fucked up shit. I'm not going to say any race or anything. I'm just going to tell you guys a bit, the story. So I was on this dating app messaging one girl, right? It was a night. I was at home. I was bored as fuck. I was just messaging, right? I messaged this one girl who was talking, 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 talking. Boom, 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 boom. She was like, do you smoke? I was like, yeah, once in a while, you know, I don't mind once in a while. She was like, oh, okay, let's match. I was, I was like, you trying to match? I was like, she was like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. So I called on the phone. I was like, hey, what's up? You know, how you doing? Blah, 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 blah. She was like, oh, okay, I'm doing good, blah, 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 blah. I said, do you, wanna, do you want me to come to your place or do you want to come to my place? You know, by the way, I don't even like people coming to my place. If I don't know you, that's just the truth. I don't like people that I don't know. Nowadays, I do not like people that I don't know. I don't like because I cannot trust you. I don't know who you are. So I said, okay, that's fine. You know, I come to your place because I know the type of person I am. I will never do anything to hurt anybody. It matter who you are, it matter what you are. It don't. It doesn't matter, right? I said, okay, I'm going to be on my way. So I pulled up. When I pulled up to the scenario, I, I surveillance my environment. I look around. When I pulled up to the scheme, when I pulled up to where I am, it didn't feel right. I already have a bad feeling that something is not right. Because it is 10 o'clock p.m. at night, there's a car in front of me, there's a car in front of me, a black dude, and a, I think it was a white guy, they were fixing a car, it didn't make sense to me because you cannot fix a car at night, you cannot fix a car at night, I'm, I'm a mechanic, I, I walk on cars, you cannot fix a car at night, okay, I put up to the scenario, I lock my uh, windows, in my head, I am looking around. If anything happens, the escape route, I am looking. You know, I'm studying the environment. I am studying because, look, I grew up, I grew up in a fucked up country, bro. I grew up in a fucked up country. I grew up in Nigeria. I know things about that. People don't understand me. They don't get it. I grew up in a fucked up world. I grew up in a fucked up country. So I understand those things. They were my life. I've seen those things. I've seen people kill, get killed because of that. It didn't feel good. I don't like those type of stuff. So in my head, I am calculating. 
my escape route in case anything happens. And a truck pulled over by me. A truck. It was three people in the truck. I couldn't see them. It was dark. I look, they keep looking at my thing. They don't know who I am. They don't know anything. Me, I'm very fast at anything that I do. I'm fast. It's like, it matter what, I'm, fa I'm thinking ahead of you. So I'm, I'm just sitting there observing. I said, I'm at, I text her, I'm outside. She said, okay, I'm coming. So she was like, oh, it's the other building in the back. So I pulled around, turned around, came, came to her. She was like, okay, we was talking, right? We was talking, 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 talking. And she said something that, okay, you're too young for me. She's 28. She told me that I'm too young for her, right? By the way, I'm 23. She said I'm too young for her. I said, okay. You know, you saw my age on the app. Why do you, in, you know, why do you want me to come see you? Why do you want me to come see you if you know, if you know that I'm too young for you, right? That's what I was thinking. Like, what, like, okay, age is just a number, but I, 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 get, I get it. It's okay. She was like, yeah, age is just a number, right? I said, yes, it's just a number. But in my head, it didn't make sense. So I was talking to her. She was like, I have a sister that I'll give you. I have my sister that is 19. I said, what do you mean? Like, why do you want to give me? It doesn't make sense because I would never in my life, in my life, if I have a sister and just hand it to a random person, he said, I have a sister that I would give to you. That's, <clears throat> that's 19. I said, okay. I was sitting there thinking in my head, it doesn't make sense, right? I said, okay, what's well, so where's your sister? Because I'm trying to understand what is going on. In my head, I, when I pulled up to the location and she put where she got me is in a tight spot. It's like in a garage. It's like it's not in a garage, it's like a gate. And it's inside the house. You know how they have the house gate like this? I was like this. This was how my car is. So right now, I don't even care about my car anymore. Because it, everything is not making sense to me. I don't care about my car. Now, I'm studying how to escape if anything happens. How to just run. How to jump. I can just, mm, and jump the fence. I'm gone. That's what I was looking at. You know, I was just looking at my escape route because I didn't feel safe. And cars was passing by. They turned, they, they were moving slow. I right, just look in, in studying my environment, studying everything. Right? And she said her sister is putting on makeup. In my head, I said, why is your sister putting on makeup at night? For what? She don't know me. Why the fuck is your sister putting on makeup? In my head, that doesn't make sense. That does not make sense. She said, yes, my sister is putting on makeup. I said, okay. So by the way, sister was putting on makeup. I asked her, she said, oh, my sister is coming out, my sister is coming out. I asked her again, where is your sister? It's coming out. At that point, I don't even feel comfortable anymore. She said, oh, my phone died, I'm about to go charge my phone. Every time she leave, I get in my car, lock my doors, because I put my car in reverse. And I hold my break. In case anything happens, I'm gone. I was waiting. So her little sister came out. It didn't feel right. She looked so fucking young. She looked like she's 15. She looked like she's 14. I said, okay. I was like, how old are you? She said she's 19. She have a drink, a, a drink bottle in her hand. A, a, a drink bottle. A 19 years old drinking. I didn't start drinking before I got 21. That's the truth. I didn't start drinking by the age of, I started drinking by the age of 21. I wasn't drinking at that age. I wasn't doing none of those things, right? So I, I was sitting there observing. Why is she having a drink? Like what the, why are you letting your sister life useless? So in my head, I said, somebody that can do this, why it doesn't, nothing makes sense to me. I said, okay, uh, do you have your ID so I can actually see how old you are? She said, oh, my ID is in the house. I said, okay. I wasn't going anywhere. 
So the thing got awkward, I said, where is your sister? Why all of a sudden your sister, your older sister is not here? She said, oh, uh, I don't know, like she went to, she, do you know where my sister go? I said, how am I gonna know where your sister went? You stay with your, you stay with your sister in the house. You guys have a, a place. How am I supposed to know? In my head, I'm still thinking, I, I was on the phone with my cousin because I didn't feel safe. I told my cousin if anything happens, if anything happens, call the police. Sorry guys, my camera battery died. But let me keep saying what I'm saying. So I was on the phone with my cousin. The whole time everything was happening, the whole time. The whole time I left my apartment to when I got to her place, I was on the phone with my cousin. I was on the phone. In case anything happens, all he needed to, all I needed him to do is call somebody, call the police, call my parents, call anybody. The girl came out the house. She went back in again to look for her sister. She came out by herself. I said, "So what's going on?" I said, "Okay, okay." I was there observing. In my mind. I didn't know what is going on. I didn't know what is, cause I, I don't know what somebody is thinking. I don't know what they're doing. So I'm sitting there. I am really, 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 really nervous, but I have to keep calm. So when I, but I, when I was talking to the older sister, I triggered something on her. I said, do you know that I have been jumped before by coming in to see somebody that I don't know? She said, oh yeah, for real? Where did that happen at? She said, oh, uh, man, that sucks. How did it happen? I just, I got jumped. And they took my things. And it have happened before. She like, oh, oh, oh. I asked her, so how is this neighborhood? Is it a good neighborhood? She said, yes, 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 nothing happens there, nothing happens there. But people don't understand that I have been, my whole life, bro, I have been living in a bad, I know what bad people look like. I know, I sense it. Bro, don't you guys get it, bro? I said, okay. In there, I wasn't scared, bro. I was, I was scared, but I wasn't scared. Because I was just looking, at, I know. No matter what happens, God is with me. I wasn't scared. I said, okay. When I was with her little sister, I said, I was like, so what, you know, like, have you ever dated, you know, have you ever, like, why, do you have a boyfriend? She said, no, she's single. I was like, okay. I was like, I understand that I'm single too. I was like, so you actually, you really 19? She said, yes, I'm 19. I said, okay, but you don't look 19. She said, yeah, I'm young. In my head, it does not make sense. I said, okay, yeah, you're, you're that young. She said, okay, I said, okay, I said, okay, cool. I left, I, I, I didn't left, I said, okay. I tried to, okay, let's, let's go, let's, you know, what do you want to do? She said she want to, she, she want to, uh, she don't, she don't know what she want to do. I said, okay. I said, let's go watch a movie. I was like, okay, she entered my car, but I was like, okay, but I cannot go anywhere with you if you don't have your ID. She said, what do you mean? I said, yes, I cannot go anywhere because if the police pull me over and you're underage, I'm going to jail. I'm going to prison. She said, oh, why would they pull you over? I said, they will pull me over for any reason. It doesn't matter. I can be driving... I can I can be driving. I forgot to turn my signal right light on. They can pull me over for any reason. The police doesn't need a reason to pull me over. She was like, "Oh, why are they gonna pull?" I tell her they can pull me over for any reason. She was scared. I said, "Why are you scared of the police?" I said, "Okay, no problem." What I did is I tell her go before I leave here. Go get your ID. Go get your ID. I'm not gonna. I'm not going anywhere without your ID. Go get your stuff. 
She went back in. She didn't want to come outside. I waited for 20 minutes. Her young, young, uh, older sister texts me. Oh, she's coming. I didn't say anything. I waited for another five minutes. I, I, was, I was still on the phone with my cousin. I had my car on reverse. I told my cousin, you know, like, do you feel, does, it, does this feel any way? Does it, do you feel any, does this feel right? He was like, he doesn't know, like he doesn't get it. And it doesn't make sense to him. It doesn't make sense to me too. It doesn't make no fucking sense, bro. It doesn't make sense. I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? I said, okay, no problem. After that, I left. I told her, you understand that I'm leaving. I left, bro. I left the scenario. I left the scenario because... Let me tell you something, guys. The reason I made this video, bro, the reason I made this video, bro, whoever did that to me, bro, it, to me, I don't care about you, bro. I don't care, bro. You, what you did, I'm not gonna come, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna investigate who you are. I do not care. All I wanna tell you is, bro, I hope you change. I hope you change in life, bro. I hope... You go out there and see there are better ways in life to live instead of hurting people, man. What are you going to gain by whatever you're going to do to me that night? Because that is a setup. Bro, I am not stupid, bro. That is a fucking setup. I grew up in Africa, Nigeria. The one of the dangerous country in the world. People die every day. Bro, my friends have died, bro. My, bro, my, a lot of my friends' neck have cut off. Bro, bad things have happened to people, bro. And you see here, want to do it. Imagine if he's your fucking brother, bro. Imagine if he's somebody in your family. Don't you get it, man? What would make you make you think that you if you hurt my brother, I'm going to feel good, bro? I don't know what I would do if you hurt my brother. I do not know. I don't know what I would do if you kill my dad. I don't know what I would do if you kill my mom. I don't know what I would do if you kill anybody that I love, bro. And I'm putting it straight forward because every a lot of people in the world think being evil, think... Having evil thoughts is gonna get them anywhere. My dude, let me tell you something in this life. In this life. In this life. It doesn't matter what you do, you're gonna die. And there's only one person to judge. I don't even know who it is. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not gonna sit here because... I sit here and start thinking about ways to make people life miserable. Why, bro? What am I going to gain in that? What is he going to do for me? What is he going to do for me, bro? I see here. It, 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 bro, I don't go anywhere with money, bro. Every, everywhere I go in this life, I don't go anywhere with money. I don't, even have my, I don't have money anywhere. I don't have money physical. Dude, in order to rob me. You have to take me to the bank to rob me because my money is in the bank. You have to take me a place where you're going to rob me, bro, to the bank and go rob me. I don't get it, man. I don't get it, yo. I don't get it. I don't get it. Why people think those things are normal, man? Why do you think... If you kill somebody, bro, you're going to be happy. Why do you think if you hurt somebody, you're going to be happy? Man, let me tell you something. When I sit here and tell you guys, I'm a very happy person, I am not lying. You know why? I don't really intentionally try to hurt people in this life, bro. I don't sit here and think about things that will make you miserable. No, I don't. I live my life, bro. I live my life. And if you if if that's what you want to do, bro, if that's what you want to do, go kill me, bro. Because you might, bro, I I don't want to kill you, bro. I don't want to. 
Because I know that's not going to do nothing for me, bro. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do... I don't want to take the things that make you happy, bro. It's not going to do anything for me. I want to give advice today. If that's what is the purpose of this video, yes. Everybody that is watching this video, everybody. Please, everybody, please. People are dying every day. People are dying every fucking day. The world is a big place. There's more to life to this shit. The world is a big place. And, and if, if, if your purpose is to put me in jail, go ahead. I will go in jail. Only God knows what will happen. I don't care, bro. Because I know that I didn't do anything wrong in my life. And no judge can judge me. I'm right because I'm right. And inside me, I know I'm right. Nothing can change that, bro. So I'm going to sit here and tell you, man. In this life, bro, you have to really look at yourself in the mirror, man. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror, bro. Look at yourself in the mirror. Ask yourself, is what you're doing today, is what you're doing to hurt other people, what is, where is it going to take you? Those are temporary happiness. That is called temporary happiness. Me right now, I don't have a lot of people's numbers. I don't have, I don't want to talk to a lot of people because everybody is, you know, I don't get it. I don't get it. What do you gain? I, all I do is be nice to people, man. Nice. All I do is being nice in my fucking life. I don't even understand this shit. All I do is be nice. And what, what do I get in return? People trying to kill me. People trying to take what I have. What do I have? What the fuck is this shit, bro? Ask yourself, what do I have? Cameras? iPhone? $200, $300? Is what my life? I'm done with this video, man. I'm done with this video. If that makes you happy, go ahead. I'm not, me, I'm a happy person, bro. But I'm gonna smile, bro. This I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, bro, I'm not gonna sit here and stress about this shit. I already forget about it. I move on. All I do is smile. <laughs> smile. Everything is gonna be okay. That's it. I smile. I love you, though. Whoever did that, I love you. <laughs> Look at me, bro. I'm serious. Look, I love you. I really, really do love you. I love everybody, but I don't love anybody more than anybody else. I will never. In my life, I'm changing, bro. If, if you want to kill me, kill me, bro. I don't give a fuck. I do happy things. I do what makes me happy. If that doesn't, if that's how you feel, it's okay. Instagram, YouTube, all of this shit. I have all this shit. Followers, all of this shit. Do I give a fuck? No, I don't. People on there don't give a fuck about me. Why should I give a fuck? People only watch me because they're watching me because they want to get something. They're not watching me because of me. But it's all good. I'm going to keep doing what I love. If that's how you feel, it's okay. Look at me, man. It's okay. If that's how you feel, this video is going to be 25 minutes long, 30 minutes long. Man, I don't give a fuck. Look, man. Look at me, bro. I don't give a fuck what anybody say about me, what anybody think about me. Call the police. Call everybody you want to call. Tell, put with things you want to put on me. My dude, I don't care. I don't have anything. That, uh, there's nothing in this world that is, that is, that is... Is, is is you gonna put on me that is gonna hurt me? You know why? I'm clean, bro. I'm clean. I'm a, I might have done little bad things. Everybody else have done. My dude, I'm clean. I don't do. I don't see and think about shit to make other people life miserable. It's fucked up, bro. It is fucked up. But this is gonna be the end of the video, man. I hope you young kids out there, the same age, the same age. 23, 18 years old, 
Look at your life, bro. Better your life. Know that somebody in this life care for you, bro. It doesn't matter if you grew up with a dad, a mom, all of this. It does not matter, bro. Do not be listening to anybody and be just be doing things because other people tell you to do things. It's not gonna, you're not going to be happy. Do the things that make you happy. That's it. And, and in this video, all I'm going to say is, bro, I love everybody. I'm going to keep doing my YouTube videos, Instagram, uh, vending machine video, everything, bro. Because now people want to kill me because they think I have money. People want to kill me because they think I have nice things. Those things, I don't give a fuck about those things, man. I, I like it. I love it. But I will never kill somebody for that. Period. I'm not lying, man. I will never in my life sit here carry a gun and shoot you for a fucking Lamborghini. Why the fuck would I do that? But it's all good, man. It's all love, bro. If, if anybody feel the need that they feel the need that it, they have to do what they have to do, that's fine. You want to kill me, bro? Go ahead, man. I don't care. My name is Nadu Boy. That's me. That's who I am. I'll never change for anybody. It's all good, man. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to God. You hear me? It's all love. Let's get it, man. Grind to shine, man. Grind to shine. Chop life. You already know. Chop life, gang. Chop life, crew. I'm not even going to dig this shit. I'm just going to post it like this. I don't give a damn, man. Let's get it, man. Grind to shine.